This was actually the picture for the locker. Oh, the hats. Those are nice. Going on an adventure. What is up, locker heads? We just picked this room up at Pitkin Avenue. Uh, we paid $330 for this room. Quite a bit, but there was a lot of Nike boxes and Jordan boxes and stuff like that. So we were willing to take a risk on it. Uh, I'm trying out this format thanks to Carol S. She suggested it in the comments. Uh, hopefully she's watching. I'm also giving a shout out to Christina Wilkerson. She asked me to give her a shout out. Hey Christina, how are you? Uh, I didn't really look through anything. I did find this and a few other pieces. They're Mark 14 carat, but they ain't 14 carat. If they would have been 14 carat, I would have made at least $4,500. Uh, when I picked it up though, even when I felt it, I knew it wasn't real, but I had to test it anyway, just because it's a lot of money. So let's, let's see what we have here. Huh. A Sprint router. Sprint phone connect to. I don't think you could sell these, but if if you can, I'll sell it. I don't know how much, but we'll see. I'll try to look it up. Oh, a little Intex inflatable pool. That's great for the flea market. Five bucks. Oh, never in there. But there was a bag of little phones. It was a small bag, like a little shopping bag. So I'm hoping maybe that's in here. So we'll put that box on the side. Um, I am going to have to go back to this facility for personal items like this because I really couldn't, I couldn't like sit around and go through stuff because I really was not feeling well. Mac earbud earbuds with no Mac. <laughs> a, bubble, a bubble blower. Not the battery operated. Uh, the cover don't sound. Alright, so this is garbage, but. It's gonna make a little pile on the floor. Alright, so that's garbage. Oh, we'll use this bag for garbage. And we'll start the new stuff. see nope uh, actually I'll start this bag as a donation bag garage guy Eddie donates the clothes for us uh, around the block from his house uh, you know the clothes that we don't end up selling he will go around by his house they have those boxes and he donates there uh, oh Daniela Elisa never heard of it New with tags though, and it was eighty dollars. New with tags. I know you can't really see it from there. Hopefully you can see. But that's good. We put that on the side for now. So we'll say thirty bucks on that shirt. So we just have to make back uh, a bunch more. Okay, so this one we'll use for these DVDs. We don't sell bootleg DVDs. We, we actually give them to the guy that lives in my building, uh, the garbage man. He's the, not the garbage, he's like a porter. He takes out our garbage and stuff, and he said to me, because he saw I was throwing them out one day, and he asked me if he could, I could put them on the side for him. Ooh, it's crusty. Those are gross. Those are gross. Those are staying in the bag. I don't really like doing this in my room. But like I said, I don't know if I said, I know I didn't say it because I reshot it because the birds wouldn't shut up. I kept trying to shoot it outside, but the birds just would not stop. So we're going to do the sneakers last. I know some of them are in there and some of them are. Alrighty. Oh, this looks nice. Jeep World Collection. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna put it on the side to look up more. Oh, 
Oh, Johnny Blaze. It's a bathing suit. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I don't know what it is. I know Johnny Blaze is normally pretty good. I don't know about their pants, but I know their shirts usually do pretty well. So we'll do that. Those are more DVDs. And more DVDs. Academics, eh, we'll donate that one. Oh, some pair of glasses. Oh! I don't know if they're real or not, but it says Versace. I have to really look them up. Uh, cause, I don't, I'm not familiar with Versace glasses. I don't think they're real though. Yeah, I don't think they're real. But, I have to look them up. They could just be loose from being in a bag. Ooh, what's this? What is this, guys? Staples and rubber bands. Socks. Oh, that's stained. Don't donate it. Even though it's stained, it's an insurer. You don't need it. Oh. Hashtag burn. Right. Oh, New York Liberty shoelaces. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, those will go over there for the flea market. These will go there. And we have more to donate. And we have another bag to put our either garbage or good stuff in. Whoa. This is a bag. Now this is a bag. Like bags inside of bags. So let's, let's pull one of the bags inside of the bag out. Let's start with this one. Whew. Let me know in the comments below what you all think about this style to see if I should keep doing it. Oh. This guy was like a little entrepreneur. This is a box of Mother's Day cards you would put on like a store. You rip off the top, and rip off the sides, put them in the store. You know what? Those are police markers. So two for a dollar. Awesome eating utensils. Creepers, creepers too. Oh, that's awesome. That'll sell at the flea market. Five bucks. Four bucks. Probably five because I like it. Okay. These are nothing. Yeah, they're literally just um, frames with... Oh, this is a cool little guy. He's missing all his parts, though. Okay. This is what 90% of storage lockers is, guys. Searching through stuff. Searching, searching, searching for that one good thing, you know. Sometimes you can search. We, we, on this channel, we had lockers like that before, where 95% of the bags are bad, but then all that takes is that one really good bag, and bam, you're in the profit zone. And some of this stuff is going to have to go back to the facility, which I really wish it wouldn't have to. So many of these crack phones. A lot of drug dealers use the crack phones. I know they are cheap though for regular people as well, but usually when you find five or six different phones in a locker, that usually means they were a drug dealer at some point. A little FYI. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about that I saw. I 
Alright, that's a crack ball. But this is some type of Nokia smartphone. Maybe I don't know. Oh, I had this phone. They're not worth anything. This one I don't think is either. Oh well. I thought there was an iPhone, but I, I just must have. I must have just seen it wrong, guys. I know I did see a box for an iPhone, though. But usually if you see the box, you don't actually see the phone. So it's all personal information. And this is definitely all personal information. This one is triple check. Because one time I found... See, one time I found a $400 watch. And it was mixed in with somebody's like old uh, medical records. Uh, let's see, any gift cards. It was old business cards. What's up, lockerheads? My friend Alyssa has finally joined us. Yes. So this bag needs to go back to the place because it's old medical records. Oh yeah, this is this. This is all weird paper. We're gonna use it to wrap our stuff and make us see. Oh, it's for flowers. Oh yeah, he had a floral. Flowers. He had a floral business. Or he sold flowers on the street. Probably. But we're stuff. gonna use this to wrap stuff for eBay, Hell and people yeah. will think we are go the extra mile. That is called recycling. Which one are you guys feeling? Which one? I think I'm feeling this one, guys. I think I'm feeling this one. I think I'm feeling... Where did that other bag I had over there? It was right there. Right where right back where it was. Okay. I know! <laughs> oh. Black for men. Yeah! This product is not to be mistaken for Polo Black. <laughs> but I bet you it smells exactly the same. All right, I guess this is gonna be a flea market item. Okay. I'm not sure, but if it says this product is not to be mistaken for Polo Black, it's good because that means it's not a bootleg trying to claim it's Polo. It's true. But it's bad because it usually means it's not worth a lot of money. Good flea market, maybe. That's what I said. Flea market piles down there. He's got piles, you guys. He's got piles. And I'm going to mess it all up. You already have. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, that's rolling. Oh, yeah. Forks. <laughs> Forks. Put some old magazines, guys. Oh, I made this bag. <laughs> yeah, this was the bag. Nice. This was the bag of uh, loose loose uh, stuff at the in the locker. There was like two or three bags that I had to make. White Air Force One. We find them in every locker. Hell yeah. Yeah, remember look. Oh yeah. Four City Three X. Is it Valor or Terry Cloth? I can't see. I think it's Terry Cloth. Uh, I think we're just gonna go. Sounds good. It's not really that good. Anyone that know has been in this game for a while knows to always check birthday cards, Christmas cards. People forget that they have money or gift cards in there. And we found my best find was when I used to clean out houses with my father. And one time. When my dad was on vacation, and we were doing a full clean out, which means we keep anything we want to keep, and everything else goes to the dump. And he and the boss's son lifted up a mattress, and there was uh, $1,600 in cash. We both got 800 bucks a piece. Holy guacamole! Sweet. Accessories. 
Oh, there's scrunchies. Do you use scrunchies? Yes. Let's see if you like them. Oh, oh those are nice. Yeah? They're velvety. Holy guacamole, there's so many. Oh. What is this? What is this? Oh, I was right. What is it? Flowers for all occasions and limo service. That man's clothes. That's a very wide range of things. He's a connoisseur of all trades. Yeah, and he sold people fake 14 karat gold. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that where that uh, necklace and ring came from? Yep. Wow. Uh, and four other rings that oh, were in plastic. Boy. It all say 14 karat, and they're not 14 karat because I used my acid test on them. Oh boy. It was even worse than normal. They went away faster than I've ever seen anything go away. Uh, these are all. Those are all donating clothes. So. Oh! What do you got? Vasi Stas! Someone's got that Magnum. Oh, I got excited. I thought that was something like... Oh, these aren't even Magnums. Oh, boy. Are they fake Magnums? They're lifestyle kings. But they're K-Y-N-G for K-Y going. I got you. Nights in white satin. Oh, let's go. These bags haven't been treated this good. I think this one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's try it. I feel I feel sneakers in here. I'm hoping. Okay. Well, this I knew about because this was hanging. Yes. It's a really nice uh, angel skin cabretta leather grass made in USA coat. Very nice. I think we looked up, so it's like 30 to 50 bucks. Good. So that goes over here. Hello! Hello, boys! I don't know if there's two of these, but this is very nice. Oh, is this. Oh, this is an Air Max. Wow! Oh, this is that box. The blue, blue and white box, I think it's gonna be. Oh. Uh, DDK. I'm not familiar with that brand, but it looks like a nice coat. You look like a nice coat. Oh, that's a very nice Puma. It's in pretty good condition. Oh, it is nice. It's like tank controllers. I'm just hoping there's friends for all these guys. Those blue and yellow ones, though. Those are sick looking. Nights in white satin. Why am I singing this fucking song? I don't know. Who are you, my dad? Yeah. Yeah, there's two of these. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's two of the pooms. Yeah. There's two of the Adidas. Yeah! 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 There is a oh, G-Shock watch in here. Oh. It's still running, so that's a That's good a really sign. good sign. We've never found a fake one that's fake. still... Shirt. Shirt. Oh. We've never found a fake G-Shock that's ever been running. That's not to say this one isn't fake, because we do find, we've actually found fake G-Shock watches in lockers with real gold watches. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know how to tell the difference and they end up getting ripped off at like fairs or stuff like that. But, I was talking to a lady and this locker's been there for a very long time. And this band is not destroyed, it's just, it's just dirty. The band is still in good condition, which is a good sign. All the screws are still in place. What's the model on it? Here. 
We'll look it up. If it's real, it's real. If it's not. I'm on it, you guys. I'm on it. Alyssa is on the case. This is what it looks like up close. But like I said, we've never found one that's still running. We have found many, many, many that are broken. WR20 bar. Oh, here we go. This was actually in the picture for the locker. Oh, the hacks. Those are nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen different hats. And that hat in the <laughs> that hat in the front matches that jacket. Yeah, it does. So let's just say sixteen hats. Let's say fifteen, because there's always one or two that you can't really actually sell because they're too dirty. But let's just say fifteen hats. What did we sell the last ones for an average? Seven bucks? Yeah, I mean, some of them sold for like 15, some of but them sold for, for seven. five. Yeah, so about in the middle would be like seven or eight. So what's. Let's go with minimum five apiece. Minimum. So this is like a hundred. Seven. <laughs> He's mathing, you guys. Seventy. Like a hundred. Let's say a hundred dollars. We'll call this a hundred dollars. Probably more, but let's just call it a hundred dollars for the case of being conservative for the video. Let's just say a hundred bucks. Oh, what's this, guys? Guys! Guys! Come back to me, guys. <laughs> Black I think brown. Corey's a little loopy right now. Black bound. Brown. Marino. Black bound? Marino wood made in... Wood. Wool made in Italy. We gotta look it up, but that is a very nice sweater. It's a little bit beat up though. Has a little bit. That's very nice. You gotta look that up. Oh, nice varsity top. And this one does not appear to be stained. That I can. I don't know what's stained. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, this is the shirt we're keeping. I might get this framed. Illuminati! This is like an American or a dollar bill shirt, kind of. Like well, a, the G-Shock is a big fakerino. Oh yeah. Yep, because the only white model that they have has blue buttons. Okay. And these have white buttons. That happens with G-Shocks all the time. Not surprised. We have found like they're three or, very commonly faked. We have found like three or four real ones. And probably like 500 fake ones. Oh, there's a sneaker box. Yay! You know what? Let's look in it. Oh! Ooh! Those are nice. Ah! We're obviously wow. going to authenticate all these, but. You want a close up, guys? I'll give you a close up. Hold on. There. These are Air Maxes. Dun, da, da, da. These are not the right sneakers in the right box. These are very clean, too. These are Sean John's in a Nike box. Oh, I believe these are Kevin Durant or Air Max. No, Air Vizzy Pro. These are Air Vizzy Pros. Those are cool. Oh, here we go. There's some nice Reeboks. These are a sick pair of LeBrons in fucking amazing condition. Look at this. Oh. Look at those. Oh, oh. These are nice. Socks. You can never have enough socks. You really can't ever have this enough is socks. True rock. Oh, everything's getting everywhere. Alrighty, well, let's just take out some of the garbage. I'm starting on a new bag of Reno. Yeah, friends. Oh, I know what this is. This is a nice varsity, varsity brand of denim jacket. It's very nice. Oh, rolling pen. Ceramic roller. They're a hundred dollar bill. Nice. Those are cool. Those will sell at the flea market easily. 
Here, let me show a close up. Oops. They're so cool. What is this? It's called the car generators. What? Into a bag? I think it's a bag. What go with bags. is this? What in turnation? It's a shirt! Okay. What does it say on it? Agents of Change 2014. Okie dokie then. What size is it? XL. Sweet! Oh, well, there's another one! This is so wow, this is fun. This is, it's the weird things we get excited about, you guys. It's been a long day. It's been a very, very long day. As you can see, Corey's gotten a little bit loopy. I definitely need to get on his level. Agents of Change, 2014. That is amazing. We need to get the machine that does that. Yes. I'm gonna start wearing this one. Fuck. Yeah. Joel thinks he got a big watch. Yeah, Joel. Can you even get it on? <laughs> Boom. Blink, blink. This one's at least not trying to be something. It's not. <laughs> it just is what it it's is. It's just a shitty ass fake, fake blink watch. Whoa. Another one. I got a wolf. Wolfman. Men's fashion. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not getting ridiculous at all. Are they the same color or is one black and one navy? Because mm. from here one looks navy and one looks black. No, they're both black. Oh, I can't even tell the town. I can't even tell the town. Oh boy, you guys. Party balloons. Party balloons. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, That's God. the one that the hat matches. Rebellious Mind New York 2XL. Rebellious Mind New York. Doing a research. Oh, New York State of Mind comes up. Oh yes. Guys. Woo! Yes, guys. You can give this to Sophie and Lila. Yes? They even come with the battery. They will have so much fun. Whoa, are you kidding? Wow. More hats? Yep. Nice. That's an interesting looking net hat. Make sure on this. Make sure on this. Wow. Too bad. This one's really fucked up. Oh, that's a nice one too. America. Nation with this. Yankees. That's fucked up though. Stolen teams. Similar. Because a lot of them are messed up. I would say another five bucks. Oh yeah. I would say eight bucks. Cause dollar a piece to flea market. Because even messed yeah. up people buy them. There's like one or two in there that are worth maybe five more. Oh yeah, the Coogan jacket. This was hanging up in there. That's gonna be good. Yeah, this is there's another one. Yay, bubbles! A lot of wow, fun boxes. Wow, a Mai Touch. A Mai Touch. Corey had a Mai Touch. Never lucky. All right, lockerheads. I had to take a few minutes to straighten out my room, uh, get a lot of the garbage out, and put the flea market stuff downstairs. Still got a few more things to put wherever I need to put it. But let's do the big reveal. Uh, what we really are here for, the reason we bought the locker, the reason we spent $330 on the locker, the sneakers. So these are not Jordan's. 
These are Air Vissi Pro. They look to be in very good condition. Nice pair of sneakers. These say Polo by Ralph Lauren. And they actually are Polo by Ralph Lauren. They are nice sneakers. Okay. So it's good. Let's see what's in this Adidas box. They're not Adidas. But they are icy. Ooh. Icy white with a little touch of red outline. Air Force Ones from 2014. These are very, very nice pair. Very good condition. They were worn a handful of times. So we like those. Let's get this one right behind me. The boxes that don't match, I'm throwing to the side. You say Jordan. Okay. Let me just check. What? From what I know about this Jordan, and I've had these a few times in the past. These, to me, on first glance, do appear to be very real. The tumbled leather, leather is very quality. The pull tab quality is there. This this is one of the biggest mistakes they usually make. I don't know how good you can see. But usually when they fake these, they don't actually do the square the right way. And this square seems to be very nicely done. So that... These, these. These are not these though. So is there a placement box? Those are very nice. Let's go. These say Air Jordan. Son Jordan, son of low. So these are like not in here. So it doesn't matter what it's like. Um I believe these are called. If I'm not mistaken, Air Force One Poseidons, I believe. I think these are actually, these are, should clean up pretty well. If not, I wish they were my size. I would keep them. They're too small. They're size 10. 10 and a half. Um, I think they're called Poseidons, though. If they clean up well, we sold the other pair that was a smaller size for like 50 bucks in a similar condition. If they clean up, if, you know. If this is dirt and not like actual scuffs, because it just looks like it's dirt though. So, if these clean up, that's really good. Okay. Ooh, wow. They are only Pumas? But I don't think these were ever worn. But maybe once at a gym. Because if you look at the bottoms, there's nowhere. I do see a little, little bit that looks like it probably was worn at a gym. So he probably wore these at a gym. These are really nice. They're Puma Romas. Wow, those are nice. And I think it's the right box. Puma Roma Red. Yep, okay. So these come with the OG box. Let's see these. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. guys. Guys, these are Kyrie's. Oh, these are freaking nice. They're not in the right box. Oh man, these are nice. These are really nice, guys. Wow. Those are the best pair for me so far. I, I like those the best. Tell me in the comments below which one you guys like the best. Ooh! Are these these? White, red. White, white. No, oh, these are the whites. Oh, these are going to clean up really nice. Oh, man, these are nice. Size 10 and a half. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And look at the bottom. It's barely done. This one has a little bit of tape. Yeah, a little piece of tape that he wants to step on. But, oh man, those are really nice.
I did look at this box because the top fell off. These, it was originally a Versace box, but they are not in here. They are actually really nice. A solid pair of sneakers. Uh, what do you call them? The Pro Model Adidas. Those are really cool. They were worn though. But those are really cool. I like those. Okay. Boom. These are not Jordans, sadly. I don't have any Jordan tents. I believe. Because we saw receipts. I found a stack of receipts. And these were. I'm not, I'm not, not, don't, I don't think these exactly. Yeah, these are, these are not good shoes. These are, like, flea market shoes. But, I believe he bought his sneakers at, like, a second-hand store. Like, um, that sells secondhand, or even new, but but also they sell secondhand sneakers. It's a store I can't remember exactly where it is, but they have a very good reputation. Uh, if I can, if I remember the name of the store, I will put it in the comments. But it's a store I believe in Brooklyn or Queens. Okay, these are these. Guys? But the store, sorry, I got sidetracked. But the store is in Brooklyn or Queens. I can't remember exactly. Um. But they buy used sneakers and they resell them. Uh, they usually fix them up, clean them up a little bit and resell them. And they're very reputable though. I think they have to keep their reputation because they do get the releases for Jordans and stuff. So they have to keep a good reputation. Otherwise they lose their ability to get the Jordans at release from the company. So. Oh, these are really nice polos. I don't know if these are these. No, they look similar. I'll look up the product code. Oh yeah, these are them. These are them. Look at those. Those are nice polos. We've never found really nice polo sneakers. We found nice polo boots before. If, if you've watched our videos, you've definitely seen that. That was uh, a while ago. But not that long. Well, we haven't really been to channel that long. We've only been to channel for... Year and a half, two years almost. And these are the last of the bunch. Probably the least exciting ones, to be honest with you. Uh, they are Sean Johns. They're, I don't know. I don't really like them. They are nice on top though. Just not my style though. I like I like a big high top. You obviously with the Patrick Ewing that I rock all the time. But uh, guys, let me know what your favorite sneaker was. And let's do just a quick recap of about how much this locker is gonna end up make profiting for us. Come on, Corey. Get a game, get your head in the game, Corey. Alright guys, let's do a quick recap of what we're gonna think all this stuff is worth. I'm going to just give an average estimate. Some of the shoes are going to be worth less. Some are going to be worth more. But let's just do an average to make it easier for the mathing. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's say 14. Oh, wait. 15, 16. Did this anymore? 17. Okay, so 17 at $40 a pair on average. That's not saying some are worth 40, that's not saying some aren't worth, or because these are worth more than 40, and these are worth probably around 40, and these are worth less than 40. But let's just average it out at 40. So that's 400 plus 7, 40, 28, 4, 6. 680 So we paid 330 for the locker. So with this, the 680 plus the random, you know, the clothes, uh, some of the clothes, all the hats we found. 
six, it'll be six, like seven. About nine hundred, nine hundred to a thousand dollars on this room, give or take. Um, oh, I, I was hoping uh, the jewelry would have been real. There would have been a lot of money worth of jewelry, and unfortunately, the watches and everything, the you know the the G the G Shock watch was not real. But all these sneakers, honestly, I'm gonna double check everything. But as of right now. I know the Air Force ones are real, cause I buy Air Force ones. That's like all I used to wear um, until I switched to the Patrick Ewing's. So I know the Air Force ones are real, and I'm really familiar with these this Jordan in particular. So it it, it meets all my requirements. I'm gonna triple check it though, just in case. But. So it's about eight hundred, nine hundred to up to twelve hundred dollars, uh, depending on you know what I because some of the stuff I put up for bidding. So not the best you'll see on this channel, not amazing, but it pays the bills and it keeps us making that money. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.